Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for the love and the mercy. Thank you for the privilege to stand before thy throne of mercy. Father, we return all praise and honor to you in the name of our Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Father, we are not qualified to hear. We are not qualified to come before the holy altar, before thy divine presence. But because of thy love, because of thy mercy, you made it possible for us to be here. Father, we return all thanks and honor to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the El Shaddai. You are the Elohim. Your name is Jehovah Nissi. Your name is Jehovah Nissi. Your name is Jehovah Shalom. Your name is Jehovah Rapha. Your name is Jehovah Jireh. Father, we return all praise and honor to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, arise from thy Shekinah glory. Manifest your strength in our weakness. As we stand this morning to glorify you, Father, if there is any way we have shared your glory with any man or with you, Father, we ask that you forgive us this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Make us, O oh Lord, to be focused unto you. Grant us the grace to overlook the mistake of others, to pardon all, to forgive all that have offended us. Grant us the spirit of love, spirit of oneness, spirit of peace, Father, so that we may continually focus unto you and to walk according to your calling upon our life. Father, we return praise to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, the omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient God, the hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. You know us individually. You know our innermost secrets. You know our heart desire. You know what has been troubling us. You know what keeps us all night long. You know them all. Father, we have brought all before you. And we ask, O oh Lord, take over. Take over, take over, take over. And Father, remember your promise to all that follow you. You promise they will never go empty handed. You promise they will never see shame. You promise they will never lack. Father, let all your promises be fulfilled in our life today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. We have left all we have to follow you. Father, do not allow us to go empty-handed. Do not allow our enemy to triumph over us. Do not allow them to mock at us. Do not allow us, O oh Lord. Do not allow us to suffer shame in the hands of our persecutors. Thank you, Father. We believe of the truth, O oh Lord, that as your message and your word come this morning, that it will permeate into our bones and our marrow and remove whatever needs to be removed for us to be focused unto you. Remove whatever needs to be removed for us to receive that which you've made available for us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. We return all praise and thanks to you. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Father, once again we pray for viewers, those that are joining us through the Rafa TV, through all media, through the Facebook, through all media. We pray for them. Lord, you know them individually. You know their problems. They have spent their time to study the miracles, the footprint you have put forward in this ministry. Father, as they follow us, let their challenges be over. Amen. Just as our challenges are over. Amen. Let their trouble be over. Just as our troubles are over. Let their needs be met just as our needs are met in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, stretch forth my hands upon them. I bless their body. I bless their soul. And I bless their spirit. And I decree they will never see shame. They will never lack. They will never lament in the name of Jesus Christ. I free them, Lord, from bondage. I free them from captivities. 
I set them free from every trials of this world. And I declare, Lord, from this day, they will remain focused unto you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Greet yourself. Good morning. morning. Greet your neighbor, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And greet your other neighbor, Shalom. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is well with you. It is well with you. Say, it is well with me. Say, in this month of deliverance, it is well with me. It is well with my family. It is well with my finances. It is well with my health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I wanted to look at your neighbor and say, have they mocked you? Have you been mocked? Ask your other neighbor, have you been chastised? Have you you been chastised? Chastisements make us to be focused on Christ. Mockery make us to focus on Christ. Ask your neighbor once again, have you been chastised? Focus on Christ. Look at the other devil. Have you been mocked? Focus on to Christ. Hallelujah. When you are being chastised, means God wants you to be close to Him. God wants you to be close to Him. When you are being mocked at, God wants you to be much close to him. Tribulation is a sure foundation of our life. Without tribulation, how do we know that God is real and that God is with us? Those troubles is what makes you to remember God. He is faithful, or rather his faithfulness reminds you of the chastisement and the trouble you went through. Look at where you are now. Some of us could not even say, Father, I thank you for my chastisement. Because once chastisements come, oh, this God is very wicked. I thought this God loved me. Look at what I'm suffering. Look at what I'm going through. Look at how everybody rejects me. Look at how no one, no one wants to see me. They, no one, they all want to kill me. Yes, only you they want to kill. Only you they want, they hated. Only you. Why don't you leave them alone and focus on to Christ? Tell your neighbor, why don't you leave them alone? And focus on to Christ. When you leave them alone and focus on to Christ, that is when the Father glorify himself. This battle is not yours. This battle is of the Lord. The battle of this world is not ours. It's of the Lord. It's of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's of the Lord. You might be wondering, where are we going in today's message? Our journey with Christ demands of us To focus onto him. Not looking back. You want to be delivered. Delivered from what? Sleepless night. Trouble in the family. Barrenness. Hatred. Demotion, depression. Oppressions. And so many other things. Of this world. Yes, we want to be focused. We want to be delivered. But after our deliverance, are we ready to maintain it? That is the question. Are we ready to maintain it? 
For us to maintain our deliverance, we have to remain focused on Christ. Otherwise, the trouble we, we run away from will come to locate us. We have to study the word. We have to know that the only way out of trouble is through Christ. If you run out of poverty and you run to demon, demon gives you money. Where would the money take you to? The money takes you to hellfire. Hallelujah. If you call God accused, where are you going to be at the end? Hallelujah. I want you to walk to three people and say, I have repented. Walk to three people and tell them I have repented. Don't go beyond three. I have repented. Hallelujah. And may you be seated. You might be, your mind will be questioning you, I have repented from what? What have you repented of or from? That's the question. We have repented from looking back where we are coming from. It's not important. Where we are going is important. You might recall where you are coming from, but can you see where you are going? That's why where you are going becomes paramount in our life and in our journey with Christ. Where we are going. They hated me. No one wants to see me. For you to avoid hatred, focus on to Christ. They rejected me. No one wants to see me. For you to avoid rejection, you have to focus on to Christ. I am so poor. I could not get a job. Whatever I touch doesn't go through. Whatever I do, I don't succeed. Why don't you forget about those things you don't succeed on and focus on to Christ? When you focus on to him, he will stop hatred. When you focus on to him, he will stop depression. When you focus on to him, demotion will stop. Rejection will stop. Hallelujah. These are the things that makes us not to know that God is with us. These are the things. Looking back. Looking back. Looking back reminds you of how your parents did not help you to succeed in your school or pay your school fees. Forgotten that if it has been divinely ordained that your parents will not pay your school fees, it will be so. Means God has positioned someone else to pay your school fees. It has been written of you that you will live in Joburg. If you go to London, and you happens to go to London, you will come back to live in Joburg. These are the things we have to look onto. We will see when we look onto God. God opens our spirit man, our eyes of the spirit, to see beyond where we are, and to know that he is with us. Whether he deliver us or not, he's our deliverer. Can you change it? No, you cannot change it. Whether he saves us or not, he's our savior. Can you change it? You are grumbling all night long, cannot change it. You are running from pillar to post, cannot change it. The only thing that can change it is you changing from who you are before to who you are now and to who God wanted to be. Hallelujah. You wake up this morning. You have not said, Father, I thank you for making me to see today, this day. You wake up. You never say, Father, thank you. But you want him to bless you. He wants you to give you so much money. He wants you to make you to be known all over the world. 
but you have not thanked him for sustaining your life from yesterday to today. You have not thanked him for giving you or allowing HIV to be in your body. Listen, whatever God did not allow to be in your body will never be. Not this. Whatever God did not allow to be part of you will never be part of you. Take it or leave it. No one can change it. Hallelujah. Take it or leave it. Whatever God did not permit into your life will never be. And will never even come closer to you. Hallelujah. If God has not permitted you to come into South Africa or to live in Johannesburg, as soon as you leave Zimbabwe to Bear Bridge, you'll be deported. Even if you go through the bush, you'll be deported. Sometimes we are attributed to demon. Yes, demon does his work. Demon will act when God allows them to work. Hallelujah. Demon will act when God the Father allows them. Remember, everything created is subjected under the power of the Almighty. So you not being focused, you should think twice. You forgotten who you are in Christ, you must think twice. You are running here and there cannot help you. What will help you is focusing on Christ. Focus on him. Forget where you are coming from. Forget how many times you've died. Yes, you are meant to die so that you may live. Forget how many times you suffered poverty. Yes, if you don't suffer poverty, how are you going to manage wealth? Tell me. If, for instance, every day people give you a thousand, a thousand rands and you spend 800 rands, half change. Would you know what someone who does not have 50 rand go through? That's the question. Would you know? You will never know because you always have extra 200 rands in your pocket. But as, when you now begin to see not even 50 rands in your pocket, see 20 rand, you change your confession. I know they hated me. But previously, they give me 1,000 every day. Look at now, they are giving me 20 rand. Hallelujah. God wants you to experience those who have no sense in their pocket go through. Amen. Are we still together? How many of you want to give God thanks for what you have gone through? Yes. Some of us will not like to give him thanks for what you have gone through. I repeat, how many of us want to thank God for what we have gone through? You want to thank him for what you've gone through? For that slap, they slap you. For pushing you out of the house. For making you to be a single mother. You want to thank God? Stand on your feet and thank him. Thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Thank him for your yesterday. Thank him because he allowed them to reject you. Thank him because they threw you out of the house. Thank him because you have no one run in your pocket. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise.
Thank him sincerely from your heart. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. May you be seated. Thanking God for what you've gone through. Make him to bring an end to that which you have gone through. Thanking God for persecution you suffered makes him to stop persecution in your life. Thanking God for the poverty you are in makes him to put an end to poverty in your life. Realizing that if he refused to permit anything, it will not happen. It will not happen. Hallelujah. And that is why you have to stand firm in your confession. Stand firm in your belief. Stand firm in praising God in your day-to-day -day life. Pray sincerely. Watch Carefully. Remember, he said, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. However, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But I want you to, from this day, change your focus. Forget things you have gone through. Forget those who persecute you. Forget those who call you name. Forget how many times you have been slapped, you've been humiliated, you've been disgraced. Forget it. When you forget it, you forgive them. And forgiveness has to be from the sincere heart. When you don't forgive, you lose your focus. Tell your neighbor, when you don't forgive, you lose your focus. Yes. When you don't forgive, you lose your focus. Because the moment you want to pray, oh Lord, I want to thank you for my life, for my, the life of my loved ones. For, you say, ah, who love you? The first thing that we ask, put into you is that man that chased you out of his house. That man that make you to leave the office. That one that failed in the school. That make you not to have your metrics. He takes your mind back to those things. But when you forgive them, will you take your mind back to them? When your mind goes back there, you realize, no, 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 I'm forgiven. Hallelujah. I'm forgiven. Look at your Bible, Romans chapter number 13, verse number 12. Verse 11, 12. Are we there? And do this knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is near than when we first believe. Our salvation is near than when we first believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Therefore let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Putting on the armor of light is focusing on Christ. Maintaining that which you receive from him. Romans 13, verse 12. Are you still there? Romans 13, 12. 11, 12. Look at that 12 very well. Is that the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of the light. Let us put on the armor of light. 
The armor of light is Christ. The armor of light. The shield of faith. Faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. Believing that that which you've gone through will never repeat again. Hallelujah. I earlier said to you, or I keep saying to you, that no one has the right to remove a hair from your head, except the Father permitted. No one. Even Satan himself has no right. He has got no audacity to remove a hair from your head, except the Father permitted. Look at the history of Job. That will help you to realize that Christ is with you. When Satan went to the Father to take a permission to humiliate Job and to finish him, the Father said to him, anyway, go. Do whatever you want to do to him. He will never lose his focus on me. He will never lose his belief on me. He will never lose his faith on me. But touch not his soul. Job lost everything. Have you lost everything? Yes, you might have lost everything as well. But remain focused. Remain focused. You might have lost everything. Your husband might wake up in the morning and say, I don't want to see you again. Say, Thank you. thanks be to the Father for him not seeing you again. He's seeing you means your grave. He's not seeing you means life. Live this kind of life in this world we're in. That will help you for tomorrow. That will help you to get to the place the Father wanted you to get to. Job's life is a living example to us today. That he lost everything. But there is one thing he never lost, the Father. He lost everything, but he never lost the Father because the Father was with him. So whatever you're going through, I want to re remind you and reassure you that the Father is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Forget about the darkness or the things you've gone through at night. But focus on Christ. Focusing on Him will make you to pray the more. We make you to forget your past. You make you to know that he is with you. Hallelujah. Many slipped from the floor while walking and their leg is broken. But you, you fell from your bed and not even a scratch on your body. And yet you never give him thanks. Yet you never give him thanks. I repeat, many slipped off while walking and their leg is damaged. But you, you fell from the bed and nothing happened to you. Those who sleep off give him things in their broken leg. And you that fell from your bed that never got hurt, never give him things. This is life. This is life. I want to build 10-story building. I want to buy the best car. I want to live in a mansion. Yes, that is good. You've got a good intention. You've got a good plan. But is it the will of the Father? That is the question. Is it the will of the Father? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, even at the point of death, he saw his death. The Bible says he prayed until the sweat coming out of him turned to blood. Yet, he never said, Father, Father, you are not a good father. He never said so. But rather he said, Father, let your will be done. Father, let your will be done. And that is why he taught us to pray, our Father, who art 
in heaven, hallow be the name, thy kingdom, thy, thy, thy will. Is it our will? It's his will. If it is the will of the Father that you pass through poverty, you cannot change it. You have to pass through poverty to test life. You have to pass through poverty to test life. 